Hey everybody, this is Doreen J with the uh, <laughs> uh, after recording of this uh, video. I am now 10 minutes after having this cocktail. My body has not stopped sweating. I feel like I'm on fire. I do not, I repeat, do not recommend that anyone make this cocktail. And now on with regular scheduled programming. Thank you. Hi everybody, I'm Darren J of the Game Shelf 91. Now I wanted to make the world's strongest cocktail. I found one called the Aunt Roberta. So I got my absinthe. I got some local gin. Got some brandy. Some local vodka. And some cherry liqueur instead of blackberry. Because A, I couldn't find blackberry liqueur. And B, I'm going to add this to ice cream afterwards, so I wanted to add something I knew I'd like. <laughs> but it does match the required alcohol content for this recipe. And, um, well, let's get making it. Alright everybody, so here's what we're going to do to make the Aunt Roberta. And um, I'm sorry about the audio, I actually had to redub this afterwards. <laughs> So what we want here is uh, one shot blackberry liqueur, two shots herbal liqueur, three shots of vodka, one and a half shots of gin, and one shot of brandy. And it's very important, uh, at least according to this recipe, that uh, <laughs> vodka get the main amount even though you don't taste it in the recipe. Now this cherry liqueur, it does match its strength that is recommended. So that's very important to this recipe because I didn't want you guys to think that I cheated and chose uh, lighter liqueur. Now I did try to choose local when I could, but uh, unfortunately stuff like this brandy right here, it is not very much available in Alberta, where I'm from, as you can see from my <laughs> Alberta vodka in the back there. Now the next thing here, I'm using the Alberta vodka. I like to support local when I can. I recommend, especially during times like this with the coof going on, that you support local too. Damn, that's a lot of vodka now that I think about it. <laughs> this was definitely designed by a prostitute in the 40s. Now, this absinthe actually came right from France, and no, it is not the uh, hallucinogenic version. It is the standard, tastes like uh, medicine version without any of the fun side effects. Well, I guess, depending how much you drink, you might get a good side effect. <laughs> and I regret every step of this process. Now this gin, I chose this gin because I like to support local once again. I hope you guys do too. But the side effect was this one actually tastes like pine needles very much a pine so you have absinthe and pine and a cherry liqueur going into this luckily the vodka <laughs> is a neutral spirit now as you see i'm adding liqueur the liqueur only adds a smoothness to this mixture the taste is overpowered by the absinthe so feel free to use whatever liqueur you want just make sure if you do make this cocktail which i don't advise you choose a proper strong liqueur 30 percent and above now for this one i'm going to be using a big cube for the cup and i'll be using some small cubes for the glass the shake Please shake, do not stir this drink because it is so strong and so many intense flavors that I do not recommend stirring. If you do stir, you will get very overpowered and react really badly like a lot of other YouTubers have. I recommend shaking it at least for 15 seconds, if not more. You will thank me if you do try this, which again, I advise, please, please do not try this cocktail unless you are an alcoholic who can stand it or it's some kind of TikTok challenge. And 
you will notice after I uh, strain this, it actually looks like a standard cocktail. It looks very enjoyable. I'm taking a sniff here and uh, all I smell is absinthe. <laughs> As you can see, it looks very tame, very tame. And uh, don't let the looks deceive you. Just gonna take a little sample sip here and, uh, and no, 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 no. That is a very, 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 very big mistake. I'm just only happy that I shook it. <laughs> the coldness is saving me right now. So right now I'm actually going to cut to my original audio because I believe it's important for you to hear my on, um, unedited actual experience with this uh, Devil's Cocktail. Aunt Irma, I'm sorry, Aunt Roberta, you kicked my ass. You win, I lose. You definitely were a badass B, and uh, this cocktail is too much for uh, me. You win. Thanks. There you go. Right here? Yep. Alright, this is my first taste. Cheers. All I smell right now is absinthe. Alright, so, um, I taste 99% absinthe about two percent the pine um alpine dry gin i don't taste any brandy i don't taste any vodka and i only get the smoothness from this i don't get any taste so uh would i make this again no unless i want to get drunk <laughs> <laughs> but even then, please, for the love of God, shake it, do not stir it. <laughs> I'm Dorian J with Game Shelf 91. Have a good one.